Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers, and I'm looking at a book today from Informer. It's called The Law of Construction Disputes in the Construction Practice Series. It's this book here with the green cover. It's written by Dr. Cyril Churn. It's 640 pages long. It's quite a heavy book. It's got a standard uh, index at the front. You've got um, useful cases. Then you've got the actual body copy of the text. There are footnotes at the bottom. But the useful thing about this book is that rather than having paragraph numbering, you've got the title, the subtitle at the top on the right hand uh, page, um, which tells you what the actual subject matter is about, and that does help. There's a very good index at the back, which you can see there, and then there are a large number of indexes, uh, appendices rather just before the index. What you've got as well is a very useful um, part on key issues in dispute resolution, which I think is one of the most important and attractive areas of this particular book. A review's been written on Flickr by my wife Elizabeth and myself, and you can read that there and on the internet proper. That's the actual, um, I'll just find it, that is the actual flyer that goes with the book. And let me just explain a little bit about what we think of this book. As I say, we've given it the title, Churn's Creative Commentary on Contracts and Construction Law Principles, and that's exactly what it is, because there's no question that Churn is an expert counsel in many aspects of both academic law and the practical nature of what we loosely call construction, as far, at least as far as the bar is concerned. Even the preface to this book gives the reader a flavour of what is to come with the anecdote from a former Commonwealth colony court, no names mentioned, which sets out the genesis of the book, not just the rule, but the reasons for the rule, when queried by, say, a testy judge, which we've all been in front of from time to time. It was even prominent, of course, in the 1950s film Brothers-in-Law. There was an old judge actually helps uh, a rather new barrister in the old formidable um, official referees court dealing with a Scott schedule when dear old uh, Ian Carmichael playing a newly uh, enabled sort of barrister with a wig on appears to have never heard of it. So there we go. Cyril Churn is well known of course to informer readers for his expertise and this book does him a great deal of justice as a, an excellent statement on the law. Uh, we've got something which really covers the entire spectrum of the area of law, mixing both theory and practice in one volume. There's one aspect which I've indicated which I think is most helpful uh, in dispute work, and that is looking now at ADR itself. Uh, before we get on to that, though, there are, in the book, 15 chapters. So it's not a, not a lot of chapters, but they go into particular areas. And the 16 appendices are uh, very helpful. Um, together with um, a comment on sort of remedies, which goes very much, this is the law of con uh, construction uh, disputes, and there is of course a remedies book that also goes with that, which is of course very helpful. I think it's very relevant when you're negotiating a settlement to have a book like this uh, available, because quite often if a case goes part heard, um, you may well find the evidence has turned in a particular way, and it may be that this may help you out of a little spot. I've further newly initiated, as I've indicated, Appendix 1 gives a great glossary which explains some of the terms. And even for people who are for more familiar, it might be quite useful to refer to. The book starts well with a description of what we do at the construction bar, uh, and then we go on to look at the various areas involved in some substantial detail, ending up with ADR. Let me conclude by saying that Cyril Churn also sets out a great case for handling the thorny issue of remedies with intelligence and um, a great deal of help from the authorities throughout. The book's not designed to cover or include a whole range of problems in commercial construction uh, projects, but it gives a welcome identification to the complexities of the dispute itself and much detail to the areas that are likely to be of interest when uh, you're running all aspects of your case. So it's very much Cyril Churn's creative commentary on constructive contracts for the 21st century. So thank you to him and thank you to Informer. It's an excellent book for your Chambers Library. Bye-bye.